Hi, so uh, this is uh, Neptune's Bin Bag, which is a Instagram uh, gallery started over the first lockdown, uh, in which I combined beach cleaning, so a local beach pocket sands, I sort of collect rubbish, uh, and I got really fascinated by the finds. And then also it became uh, an artistic project in the sense I would gather the objects together and I'd make small sculptures. The next stage would be to photograph them and then put them on Instagram. So it had uh, several functions. Uh, one was to clean the beach because I really sort of bothered by um, plastic in the ocean. The other one was a creativity project. So at the time I was working uh, in an art school and I wanted to encourage other students to, to make sculpture uh, in the lockdown, so it was sort of tabletop sculpture. So it then, I, I thought it'd be a short lived thing, but it's ongoing and I find it sort of really inspiring and flowing into other aspects of, of my uh, ceramic practice. The, um, some of the finds are photographed and they're just a straight photograph. So, the walrus, which has uh, got a story behind it as well, in the sense that uh, I found, actually bumped into somebody whose son lost that three years ago at Pocket Sands. So that's a strange story. And in, a, in a way, all of them have their own little stories. And when I find the objects, I find that really uh, inspiring, in the sense, I'm, sense of wonder about, well, you know, so be it sort of a swimmer's goggles losing it and that sort of drama or, or sort of kids' toys, fishing, a lot of fishing sort of gear. Um, sadly, a lot of single-use plastic, so you get the sort of detritus of, of plastic bottles. Um, so the stories behind them sort of find fascinating, but a majority of them are um, abstract. I'm interested in simply the uh, shapes and colours and the distress of nature of something being tumbled in, in the sea. So uh, I combined objects, so like a bottle of razor, a, a bit of, I don't know, a toy, and it's just literally the choreographing of the shapes, colours and textures. This is one, one of my, my favourite ones and um, yeah, it's, it's the, just really the formless sort of arrangement of, of objects. Um, but then the projection of well, wonder what those objects are. Uh, so lots of it, I say, is, is, is fishing gear, um, and I think still the majority of it is, but I think, I guess the pocket, some of it gets washed down um, the, uh, the estuary, but quite often I'm picking things up and going, what, what, what was that? You know, what was the component of that? So we've got a kid's um, mitten, a plastic bottle, um, a tie of some sort, a bit of fishing gear. Uh, but some of them, like this little red object, which is also on the table here, is a particularly sort of pleasing sort of object here. I don't know why, but it's sort of, some of them are, are more sort of treasured than others. And this is really just as an example, this is made out of ceramic, and this is made from, um, I mean, the mould of a bottle I found. Um, and then this is actually clay from Pocket Sands as well, which is fallen off the cliff. Uh, and so it's that sort of transference of geology really. And I think we're going to be called the Plastics Age um, when sort of future generations, if we're around, <laughs> there'll be this layer of, of plastic compressed. So I was playfully exploring this sort of idea about the notion of this material, which is all natural material, but um, We've reformed it into something which is quite pernicious and not, not very good. Um, so yeah, some of the other sort of, I think, theme are things like still lives. I love, I love uh, Dutch still lives and the arrangements of, of objects. Um, this is sort of one of my sort of favourites and I found, found these guys not far from each other so sometimes I'll put a caption underneath um, that I call these guys smoking fags and I told them about the health hazard of smoking fags. So on Neptune's been back sometimes there's a, a narrative which is played out or this dog's toy which is a chicken and then 
this ball, which is a Disney ball, it's a brand new Disney object, but with it being distressed, it's got this amazing patina and quite strange mystical sort of quality, really. So yeah, I mean, in some respects, I, I really hope people come and see the exhibition, inspired to uh, clean their local beach um, or their local area, pick up some litter. Um, I think also be uh, aware of single-use plastic and we can lobby to get rid of that. Plastic's an amazing material, but just for it to be used once and disposed, not a good idea. And then also maybe be creative and make their own sculptures and photograph them and then put them back in the recycling or whatever. So I think it's a, you know, we, we, we can all make art and it's a very simple way of making art.